Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another visual pattern challenge. Here's step one in our pattern. Here's step two. Here's step three. And your challenge is to predict the number of jelly beans in step four. If you can do that, can you predict the number in step 43? And can you write an equation that could be used to predict the number of beans in any step at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept it, pause the video and see how far you can get. All right, so this one's a little different because it doesn't have anything in step one. So I guess zero bed jelly beans is what we have in step one. And we've got three in step two. And then this is like a hollow square. So what is that? Eight in step three. Hmm. It's a little difficult to see exactly what's going on because I've got nothing in the first step. And then it's sort of a square in step three, but not really in step two. I think I'm going to look at the numbers and see if I can get some clues that way first. So um, at least to know whether it's uh, linear or not linear. So I'm like make a chart here with the step number and the number of beans. So in step one, we've got zero. In step two, we've got three. And in step three, that's eight. So and we don't know yet for step four. Um, we're trying to get some intuition about that. So let's see zero to three. Uh, that's 3 minus 0 is 3, and 8 minus 3 is 5. Hmm. Okay, so this is not a constant, so it's not a linear pattern. So we're not going up by the same amount every time. I noticed that here 5 minus 3 would be 2, so maybe this is going to be a quadratic when, with x squared as our leading term. And now that I'm thinking about squares, I guess this could be, you know, the step number squared with one missing jelly bean there. And this could be the step number squared with one missing jelly bean there. Oh, and this would be two, right? So it's the step number squared with one jelly bean. It's one minus one would be zero. Aha. So I think what we're going to do here is make a four by four square. So four by four square of jelly beans with one missing. Okay, so minus one. So 16 minus one would be 15 jelly beans. So that's my prediction for step four. And if we continue our analysis here, 15 minus eight is seven. And you'll see when we take the difference of the differences, five minus three is two, seven minus five is two, we do get a quadratic and x squared should be our leading term. And I think we've already come up with the idea for the equation because uh, we have x squared, but we've taken one jelly bean away. So that's just x squared minus one. So in the first one, it's one squared minus one. That's zero. In the second one, it's two squared minus one, four, whoops, um, two squared minus one, four minus one is three. And in here, step three, that's three squared minus one. That's nine minus one. That's eight. That's how many are there. So that's all working. So I think we can be confident in our equation here, x squared minus one. And then to figure out the number of je jelly beans in step 43, we'll just plug in 43 for x in our equation. So y equals 43 squared minus 1. So that's 1849 minus 1. That's 1848. So 1,848 jelly beans in step 43. Well, how did that go for you? Did you get 15? I think it was a little difficult for trying to find that, that step number 4. Let me know. Thanks, everybody.